Hey guys, it's Rob Anderson with Dollar Moves. I'd like to welcome you to another video. So today's video, I want to talk to you about Amazon's um, Automate Pricing Repricer. It is free for those of you who have a professional seller account on Amazon. And you know, it came out probably um, late spring of 2016. And I was actually really excited about this when it first came out um, and was gonna tell you guys about it, but then once I saw it, I noticed it was a little underwhelming, and so um, I wanted to wait and see what other people had to say about it. Um, sort of, really, I haven't heard of anyone using this yet um, that is like using it as their sole repricer. So, um, but with it being Q4, I wanted to let you know about the options that are out there. Um, as you guys know, I use App Eagle, and so. Um, it's really, really good, very stout. It's it's always continuously repricing for me. So you can actually get a 14-day trial on App Eagle at dollarmoves.com forward slash App Eagle. That's dollarmoves.com forward slash App Eagle. Um, but I wanted to show you this one so that, you know, it's just about to be Q4 here, and I wanted to give you any opportunity to start repricing. As you know, repricing to me is such a huge thing like in scaling up your business um when I, I i waited way too long to start repricing and so i figure i'll throw this out here let you guys see what's available with the um, amazon automate pricing that is free with your pro seller account that's included in it and just let you see what is available but again you know it's not one that i recommend i just want you to know it's out there because you know maybe having some kind of repricer even at the smallest amount of repricing is better than no repricer at all when all the sales start going crazy and stuff. Um, one of the things, just a couple things I do want to mention about this is that when you set your repricer with the Amazon Automate pricing, these are two things I'm not a huge fan of, is that you set your minimums and so if you and someone else has their minimum set, it will just jump right down to those minimums and you will go between the two prices. So instead of working your way slowly and like forcing someone to kind of come down slowly on their pricing, the, since Amazon knows both sides, it just drops you both down and whoever gets the buy box or whoever wins that will get in that spot. Another thing that I really don't like about this idea, I, I was again, super excited about this, but the fact that you're telling Amazon what your lowest acceptable price is, um, you know, we are on Amazon's platform, but we do have to realize that Amazon's still a competitor. So if you're pricing against Amazon, how good of it, how good of an idea is it to let them know the very least amount of money you'll make? Because for Amazon, their biggest thing is to have the lowest price product out there. And you know that if you have an Amazon account, um, you know, you'll get the things where they'll say, hey, you could lower your price on this, or um, we'll give you so much percent off of the fee um, discount if you'll lower your price down to this threshold. So their idea, their, their best idea for them is to lower the price as much as possible. So you have to think about that um, as their ultimate motive when you are using this repricer and deciding whether or not that um, Amazon is the one for you. Now, again, you if you are interested, um, actually, uh, App Eagle made a really, really good article that um, that I recommend that you read that kind of talks about them versus the the automate pricing. And you can find that article at dollarmoves.com forward slash a e article that's dollarmoves.com forward slash a e article but i want to jump in here and again you know it's it's probably better than nothing to just try and start to learn about repricing on this and i want to show you what's available with the um, amazon automate pricing so when you first come in here uh you're going to sign into your amazon seller account and as you can see i'm already on my seller account you'll go right up here to pricing and then come down to automate pricing. It'll bring you to the same page that I'm currently on. Now, this here is a video you can watch and it'll just show you about what automate pricing is and what it does as a general, um, a general like options that it has. Um, this tells you how you get started to find the rules, parameters, choose SKUs, set minimum and maximum prices and start repricing. So I'll go ahead and click get started. This is on my um, 
our newer account. So um, I'm just going to call this test, and you can call it whatever you want to identify this if you're wanting it to be buy box or whatever. I'm just putting test to show you guys this. So price you want to compare to, you can choose either buy box or lowest price. I'm just going to leave buy box on for now. Um, and then the pricing action you want us to take. You have stay below the buy box price by a specified amount, match buy box price, stay above the buy box price by a specified amount. So you can do a dollar amount here. So you can say stay below the buy box price by a specified amount, like maybe 10 cents or 50 cents or something like that. You could put that there. Or you can do a percentage, so you can be below the buy box in a certain percentage. And again, it's it's the same. Now, if you match the buy box, you're not going to have any options. Stay above the buy box, you have the same options to put in a dollar amount or that. Let me see if I go to lowest price. Okay, so lowest price does change your options. You have stay above the lowest price by a specified amount, match the lowest price, or stay above the lowest price. Oh, wait, those are the two. Okay. And so then again, you can put um, to stay below the lowest price uh, or match the amount. The match will keep it at nothing. And then the um, stay above lowest price, you can put in, you know, again, your 50 cents, your dollar, whatever you want to put, 10 cents or a percentage to hopefully help you to get the buy box. Now, the next thing that it offers to allow you to do, so I'm going to go ahead and say um, buy box price match so that I don't have to choose any other stuff. Oh, let me see here. Okay. So match by box price. I'm just doing this again for an example to show you what is available. So what should we compare your offers to it asks? And you can either choose all offers of the, for the same ASIN and condition, which means you're going to have FBA and you'll have Merchant Fulfilled and you'll have Amazon all as your competition. Or you can choose specific types of offers. Only offers with the same fulfillment method, so like FBA to FBA, um, merchant fulfilled versus merchant fulfilled and only offers from other third-party sellers and that right there if you click that would mean that you are taking Amazon out of the out of the game so it's just gonna be you against you know if you're choosing FBA against FBA or or whatever so let's see here the next thing I'm gonna do is go save selected SKUs and so what you're gonna do here you have your, and this is just a bunch of books as you can see, but you have your name of your product here with the ASIN underneath it. And one thing I would recommend is if you do this when you're figuring out your minimum and your maximum, which is over here, um, open up another page and go inventory, um, FBA inventory, and then put in your ASIN and search it and it will come up with the... Um, with uh, the fee on there. So you can add in your fee, you have your your cost of goods, and then whatever amount you would be okay with getting back for a profit. And so once you come up with what you are willing to accept as your lowest amount that you'd accept, you'd put it in here. So let's just say I'd say $9.99. Let me turn that on. $9.99 for my lowest price. Again, this is just an example. My maximum price would be um, what I like to do is just kind of figure out what the uh, what the acceptable, like kind of an idea of what everyone else is selling it for, and then maybe bump it up from there a bit, but not to where you go too far out and you get off of the um, off of the page. So so let's just say twenty dollars here, and then you have so it won't go below nine ninety nine and it won't go above twenty dollars. And this repricer, I don't know how often it reprices, but it will um, move the price to be more competitive, hopefully. Um, one of the things that's interesting is if you get the buy box, you stay at that price. And so like with App Eagle, like you can set it to get the buy box and then move up in price, like move back to your maximum. Whereas with this one, it seems that setting it is... Uh, is to like once you get buy box it stops pricing so something to think about now um, once you've done that you just click the start repricing and for that uh, M SKU the the uh, price will do between $9.99 and $20 now I'm not going to do this because I don't use this repricer but that way you can get an idea you can go in there you know maybe try out five to ten um, ASINs that you'd like to try and see how it how it acts but 
the reason I'm putting this out here now is because now you can try it out, see how things go, never set your minimums below what you'd be willing to accept, okay? That, at the very least, like, make sure that your minimums are set to or above whatever is the lowest amount you would take because you don't want to lose money while you're trying to figure out how to use a repricer. So um, that's what I would recommend for that. Again, you guys, you know, I believe a repricer is going to do better than no repricer probably. Um, you know, maybe doing with this, with the uh, Amazon... Um, the Amazon automate pricing, maybe setting your minimums higher than what you'd accept, but then it kind of takes away from the purpose of the whole um, repricing thing. My concern with this repricer is that it forces a race to the bottom. And one of the things that I love about App Eagle is that I often sell things for much higher than I was expecting. Um, even when, when other people are starting to race to the bottom, those people will sell out sometimes and I will be put right back up to where my good price is to to a better stabilized price and um, this one does not seem to do that so uh, again you can try out app eagle as well 14 days for free if you go dollarmoves.com forward slash app eagle that's dollarmoves.com forward slash app eagle and then also check out that article that that compares app eagle to this one um, it goes pretty in depth on the um, automate pricing for Amazon and you know I know it is biased so of course App Eagle is going to put their best foot forward but you know I haven't seen anyone who is using just the automate pricing as their own repricer and um, again that article is dollarmoves.com forward slash AE article that's dollarmoves.com forward slash AE article but um, the reason I chose App Eagle is that the big sellers were using App Eagle, and there are a bunch of different repricers that you can try out there. So, um, but when I heard that over and over and over again, that's why I chose it. And I haven't heard anyone go, "Yeah, man, now that this uh, automate pricing's come out, I've got rid of my repricer, and I'm just killing it with the automate pricing, and it's doing great." So, I haven't heard that yet. If you're using automate pricing, I'd love to hear below um, what you think about it, and if you're enjoying it. Have you ever tried a different repricer? I'd like to hear that. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I'd love to hear. If you're using uh, App Eagle or a different repricer, um, let me know down below as well, too. Are you enjoying that? Um, you know, it's kind of like what they say. You might just be getting what you pay for. And another thing, too, is that we're when you partner up with Amazon in this repricing effort, it's like you're showing your hand So to, to your com competition, you know? Um, something to think about so anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you like what you saw please go ahead and thumbs up positive comments down below i'd love it if you'd share this all around and with anyone that you think could find value in it um and if you like what you saw and you want to see more videos from me i'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel you can also go to dollarmoves.com sign up for the email newsletter and i'll contact you anytime i put out any new videos or if i come across something that i think can benefit you i hope you enjoy this video and i'll see you on the next one take care